Good morning and welcome to our weekly Advent prayer service. This is the third Wednesday of Advent and I'm glad that you could join us here and at home. Our opening song this morning is from Barnaby Bright and it is the theme song from our series Close to Home. I can't describe the way I've been feeling Everything all turned around inside my head Longing to find some magical sign A key to my deepest desire The home that my body has left I've waited on the fixies Despite the love leaves to no avail I've tried to find my voice Like Zachariah But it comes out weak and pale Can we build a place for all The lost too long to be the arms of love, the joy that sets us free Maybe I'm on my own But wherever you are, I am home One night, it seems like a lie Time ago, some travelers far from their home search for a room in a bed. Snow fell against the light of a star. Without any offer or invite, he came to give life to the dead. Can you imagine all the weight of all of the world? Yet no you cast away and cast aside a dear to you You cherish us just as we can We can build a place for all the lost too long to be Held inside your own the flow, the joy that sets us free How are we ever alone? Wherever you are, we are Please join me in the call to prayer. The response has come, Lord Jesus. The Spirit and the Church cry out, Come, Lord Jesus. All those who await his appearance pray, Come, Lord Jesus. The whole creation pleads, Come, Lord Jesus. God of all wisdom, our hearts are in for the warmth of your love. 
and our minds search for the light of your word. Increase our longing for Christ our Savior and strengthen us to grow in love that at the dawn of his coming we may rejoice in his presence and welcome the light of his truth. This we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today we read from Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 14 through 20. And this is entitled, A Song of Joy. Sing aloud, O daughter Zion. Shout, O Israel. Rejoice and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away the judgments against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You shall fear disaster no more. On that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Do not fear, O Zion. Do not let your hands grow weak. The Lord your God is in your midst, a warrior who gives victory. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will renew you in his love. He will exult over you with loud singing, as on a day of festival. I will remove disaster from you so that you will not bear reproach for it. I will deal with all your oppressors at that time. And I will save the lame and gather the outcast. And I will change their shame into praise and renown in all the earth. At that time I will bring you home. At the time when I gather you. For I will make you renowned and praised among all the peoples of the earth. When I restore your fortunes before your eyes, says the Lord. This is the word of God for the people of God. And thanks be. King Josiah, Zephaniah's cousin, has ascended to the throne of Judah. He steps into the aftermath of a half a century of ruin incited by the former king, Manasseh, who ruled with evil actions and led the people astray. Much of Zephaniah's prophecy is an exacerbated lament. He believes the only way forward is for Yahweh to destroy everything. Too much has been corrupted. Too much has fallen apart. But then, in chapter 3, his message takes an unexpected turn. He turns toward restoration and unabated joy. This joy comes from God, who renews and calms us with love, rejoicing over us with singing. It comes from those who are vulnerable and shamed, being gathered back in, restoring the whole community. In the image that you'll see on your screen, the blueprint background reminds me of a deconstructed building. It's as if the roof line has fallen and the infrastructure crumbled, yet the collapsed roof provides us an opening that becomes a doorway of invitation. God's hand reaches down from the heavens, gently nudging us inward. Fig trees adorn the opening as signs of promise. A music bar showing the first line of the familiar hymn, Come Thou Font of Every Blessing, lures us toward the doorway, becoming a pathway for our journey home. Perhaps the path toward creating a home for all requires some deconstruction. You see, some of our structures are rotten. Some of our institutions are compromised. Some of our rituals need repair. And yet nothing is beyond redemption. Collective belonging gives way for collective joy, joy that is free and full. God's love will find a way to renew us and gather us in. Breathe deeply as you gaze upon that image. Imagine placing yourself in the scene. What do you see? How do you feel? Get quiet and still. Take a few moments to offer a silent or spoken prayer to God.
joining me this morning in prayers of petition. The response is, gentle God, have mercy. That our gracious Savior may rouse us from sleep and make us attentive to the nearness of his presence. Let us pray to the Lord, gentle God, have mercy. That we may discover God's word in every sound of this world, God's touch in every human embrace, and God's love in every gesture of self-sacrifice among us. Let us pray to the Lord, gentle God, have mercy. That divine energy and holy grace may bring our hearts to vigilance and make us see with uncovered eyes the Christ who suffers in his people's agonies. Let us pray to the Lord, gentle God, have mercy. That we may come to recognize in our holy assembly gathered for prayer that Jesus the Christ is with us here to make our songs of praise and pleading his own. Let us pray to the Lord, gentle God, have mercy. That God's coming into the days and years of our human history may be always new, always brimming with light to drive all darkness away. Let us pray to the Lord. Gentle God, have mercy. Make ready our hearts for your coming, O Lord, and receive our prayers in the name of the one who comes, our gracious Savior, Jesus the Christ. On the night that Jesus would be arrested and betrayed, he gathered with his closest friends around a table. Uh, they gathered to remember, to remember their time spent in their ministry, to remember their time spent with God in the flesh. And at that table and at that supper, Jesus took the bread and he gave thanks and he broke the bread and he gave it to his disciples saying, take this and eat. This is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And when the supper was ended, likewise, he took the cup and he gave thanks to God and he said to his disciples, this is the cup of my love, the cup of my love poured out for you. This is the cup of the new covenant. Drink from it and when you do, do it in remembrance of me. And through this broken bread and this cup, we participate in the body and blood of Christ. Grant, O Lord, that what has been said with our lips we may believe in our hearts, and that what we believe in our hearts we may practice in our lives, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Go in peace, wonderful Christian church, and have a blessed day, and we'll see you Sunday. The earth cries out. Nothing feels right The world cries out No justice inside Fires burning everywhere Too many to hide Too bright We are
us be a sign of hope. Let us be your arms of love. Let us be the ones that say there is another way. Let us be a sign of hope. Let us be your arms of love. Let us be the ones that say there is another way. Let us be a sign of hope. Let us be your arms of love. Let us be the ones that say there is another way. You are waiting for